The back and forth over taxes between New Jersey and New York is top of mind for lawmakers right now who are trying to level the playing field for residents who work remotely at a job based across state lines and who gets to tax the income of those remote workers is an issue that could have big implications for the state budget. That's according to our budget and finance writer John Breitmeyer, who has the latest details on proposals coming out of the state house and a major milestone for one of New Jersey's other big revenue sources. He joins me now. John, this issue of residents being double taxed really just came to light during the pandemic uh, with so many people working from home. What do lawmakers think they can do to help the situation? Yeah, Brianna, there, there are really three things that this legislation would do if it eventually becomes law. The first would create some new tax breaks for businesses to give them an incentive to establish a footprint in New Jersey. And so we're talking about maybe a business located in New York where somebody works from home, but for that New York company and based on New York's tax laws, New York says to the company, you have to withhold taxes for Albany in that instance instead of Trenton, even though they're working from home in New Jersey. And so one way would be to, to get a business to, to create a footprint here in New Jersey so those residents could work and be based in New Jersey. The other would be to create tax breaks for people to sue a state like New York that has an aggressive tax law when it comes to how the income of someone who works from home is treated and try to upset the apple cart. And then the last thing would be to rewrite New Jersey's tax laws in some ways. So we treat states that have aggressive tax laws for New Jersey's remote workers the same way they treat us. And so it'd be sort of fighting fire with fire, all creating a net positive in revenue for the state budget. But none of this, though, would happen immediately. All of these proposals would take time. So what's the plan for the interim? Because there's billions of dollars of tax revenue hanging in the balance. And then also, uh, you know, remote workers who are being double taxed. Well, for now, we'll stick to the status quo, which is New Jersey offers its residents who work for companies based in other states tax credits to offset the income that they pay to those states. So if a company is based in New York, for example, New York withholds, tells the company to withhold for Albany, you know, New Jersey gives a tax credit. And so to prevent double taxation, that's the way the status quo is set up right now. If this bill becomes law, it would change things and we'd be able to sort of repatriate that money to New Jersey without risking double taxation of residents who are working from home, but for companies based over state lines. Okay, let me shift gears to another item that's been a pretty big boon for revenue in the state. Legalized casino gambling. New Jersey is celebrating the 45th anniversary uh, of that this year. Um, what does the industry now face in terms of bringing in that revenue when also competing with things like sports gambling and, and online gambling and everything that's come to light in these last several years? Yeah, for sure. And, and the casino revenue is not what it once was but it is rebounding post pandemic and getting a big boost actually from online gambling. And the way that the online gambling law was written in New Jersey is a portion of those revenues, you know, they have to be in partnership with brick and mortar casinos in Atlantic City. So they are getting some boost from that. Online casino gambling is actually up for renewal starting next year. And there's a bill that's under consideration right now that would keep it in place for another 10 years, but certainly Still some challenges for the casino industry, but doing a lot better than say it was just a few years ago or right after the Great Recession when some of the casinos had to close. Yeah, several in fact. Um, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like in another 45 years. John Wright-Meyer, thanks so much. You're welcome. Support for the Business Report provided by New Jersey American Water. We keep life flowing online at NewJerseyAM.com.